Genesis chapter 16. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had borne him no children. She had an Egyptian maid whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said to Abram, See here, the Lord has restrained me from bearing children. I am asking you to have intercourse with my maid. It may be that I can obtain children by her. And Abram listened to, and he did what Sarai said. So Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her Egyptian maid, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband Abram to be his secondary wife. And he had intercourse with Hagar, and she became pregnant. And when she saw that she was with child, she looked with contempt upon her mistress and despised her. Then Sarai said to Abram, May the responsibility for my wrong and deprivation of my rights be upon you. I gave my maid to your bosom, and when she saw that there she was with child, I was contemptible and despised into our eyes. May the Lord be the judge between you and me. But Abram said to Sarai, See here, your maid is in your hands and power. Do as her with you please. And when Sarai dealt severely with her, humbling and afflicting her, she, Hagar, fled from her. But the angel of the Lord found her by a spring of water in the wilderness on the road to Shur. And he said, Hagar, Sarai's maid, where did you come from, and where are you intending to go? And she said, I am running away from my mistress, Sarai. The angel of the Lord said to her, Go back to your mistress, and humbly submit to her control. Also the angel of the Lord said to her, I will multiply your descendants exceedingly, so they shall not be numbered for multitude. And the angel of the Lord continued, See now, you are with child, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael, which means God hears, because the Lord has heard and paid attention to your affliction. And he, Ishmael, will be as a wild among men. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he will live to the east and on the borders of all of his kinsmen. So she called the name of the Lord who spoke her, to her, You are a God of seeing. For she said, Have I not even here in the wilderness looked upon him who sees me and lived? Or have I here also seen the future purposes and designs of him who sees me? Therefore the well was called Bir Lawori, a well to the living one who sees me, and it is between Kadesh and Barad. And Hagar bore Abraham, Abram a son, and Abram called the name of his son, whom Hagar bore Ishmael. Abram was eighty-six years old when Hagar bore Ishmael.